weren't part of it. It's brilliant. And I think the goal that we all should have is just to mm. eliminate that feeling it's from brilliant. everybody in the organization it's because brilliant. people who feel left out, people who feel like they're not part of the process, are going to leave the organization and you're going to lose those people's assets. And if you feel that way yourself, you're going to be pretty unhappy at work. So a couple of keys to inclusive culture. First of all, universal design. Universal design principles are principles both for physical design, for software principles, and it just has to do with setting up an environment where or people have access to an ability, regardless of their abilities and their mobilities and the, uh, their other challenges, to be able to access everything at the same level as everyone else. And then, this is why I have my little Superman over here, value people's individual strengths and think of them as superpowers. So if you have somebody like me, who's a 50,000 foot view, know your strengths, focus on your strengths, and know the strengths of the people in your organization and try to avoid rather than putting somebody in a situation where they are not playing to their strengths at which point they're frustrated and you're frustrated think about ways that people can focus the most of their attention on doing things that they're really great at and then balance the workload around that encourage feedback i can't emphasize this enough people need to feel like their voices are heard and so when you are running a company, you need to think about how you're going to get that feedback, how you're going to get it anonymously, how you're going to get it with asking people how they feel and what they're enjoying and what they're not enjoying about their work. But always, always, always think about asking those questions and getting that feedback rather than just assuming that you know what people think. And you can do that through a variety of methods. You can do it anonymously. There are lots of great web-based tools these days. You can also do it through focus groups, but I think it's pretty critical to also have open asking for it and making sure that you're putting that out there all the time so that people know and are 